everything on the field. We are in the Windy City for LFL football. To the Nashville eight yard line as Richardson moves under center this time. An inside handoff, Gabrielle Town. So a third and 15, only a two yard carry by Todd. A nice release play to Maya Houston, and Houston still on her feet. Like she just did, she has to protect the football. A second and 12, a delayed handoff. That's Tamika Robinson. Came away with no points. We questioned Usana, is she a quarterback? Right there, she looked great. And that's Nimi Cleese spotting the ball, so that was a delay. Molly Richardson from the shotgun. Takes the throw, this is a draw play again to Gleaves. First and 10 for this Nashville offense at midfield. From the uh, shotgun, rolling right, Molly Richardson avoiding the rush. 20 now for Nashville, a decent drive here. This is an option, He's gonna toss it out to Gleaves. He told me most of his coaches will be gone and he will have a different quarterback next year. Kind of throwing that coaching staff under the bus. Meanwhile, Molly Richards on a fourth and four. They're going to go back to Gleaves. Gleaves breaking through the first center arm tackle. Stops against Nashville. And now a high snap. That sailed over the head of Dusan. And luckily able to get back on it. But that'll result in our first Nashville as they go back to work from the 15-yard line. A low snap to Richardson, handoff net of Nashville. Receivers flank to the right side, a quick screen. That's caught, Bree Mosley. So here we go, Molly Richardson with an empty backfield from the shotgun. Not able to set her feet, but yard line after that three yard reception. This time a full backfield with Richardson. That'll be a draw play. Gabrielle Todd still on her. So a third and two at the Chicago 13. Receivers flank to the right side. A crossing pattern, that's intercepted. Chicago defense is shutting down Nashville. So now a first and 10 at the Chicago four. Let's see if they can capitalize. And quarterback keeper, that's Dusan. 16 yard line. This time Dusan under center. That's Javille Thompson in motion, inside handoff. Thompson, second and three, ball at the 23. Dusan this time from the shotgun, a high snap, able to manage it. A reverse, Tamika Robinson. If they can eliminate stupid mistakes, they can move the football. Dusan under center, a design keeper. And I'm not sure she, I don't think she wanted contact on that play. They haven't blown the whistle just yet. All really underthrown by Dusan. Second and 13. From under center is the quarterback, toss right, Javille Thompson with blockers. In Third and six, ball at the Nashville 15. Receivers all flank to the right and left. That's complete, Tory Childs. Short passing game like that. So now a first and goal for the Chicago offense, and that's a fumble. Ball is still loose. And that looks like Nashville may have recovered. Oriana Taylor. Trail it two to nothing. First and 10 as Nashville takes over from the seven wide open. Great open field running here. Oriana Taylor still on her feet. 15, 10, all the way down to about the seven line after that 34-yard catch and run by Taylor. Nashville's going to stay on the ground. That's Netta. Chicago defense inside the red zone. A delayed snap back to Richardson. Richardson, a crossing pattern. Caught. That's Maya Houston. So they're bringing it back. got to hold him. Nashville, number nine, on the, on the offense here. Hold him, offense. Blue nine. So ball at the nine. Richardson from the shotgun trying to set up a crossing pattern. That's fine. Let's see what they can do. Third and goal, a bunch set in the backfield. Handoff, and that's fumbled. Recovered by Jessica Smith. As ugly as it's been for Chicago, they're only two down here. This is a reverse. That's Tamika Robinson making Javille Thompson. Still not very comfortable in this offense. This is the final game of the season. You would have thought she'd warmed up to it by now. It's a design on the other side. Sidney Lewis happy with his defense, but not his offense, and possibly because of blunders like that. That Chicago offense was set up perfectly at the 20, and now a pass caught. Bree Mosley cuts inside. 
15, 10, 5, touchdown. And believe it or not, with everything that's gone wrong for Chicago, they're only down one score. A toss right, Javille Thompson following her for Nashville. Who do you think is having a worse night tonight, quarterback Dusan or the referee Milton Clayton? That's a close call. Dusan looking good on this one, though, completing it into the flat to Tory Giles for 11. That's Tamika Robinson in motion. They're going to call a sweep left to Dusan. Dusan lost the ball, but appeared like she was down as the clock continued. Down with that. That's two touchdown passes in the first half that Dusan had dropped. Dusan back to the end zone, deflected and intercepting a pass here that could have been intercepted right there by Carissa Burnett but kind of a volleyball up in the air and then the Chicago's got a shot they're only one score behind first and 10 at the Chicago 15 this is Dusan back to pass underneath that's caught time as well maybe that'll light a spark that's needed within this offense an ugly looking tosser a shovel pass that is caught by Javille Thompson Second and 10, all receivers flank to the right side, and she'll roll right. This is Dusan cutting back across the middle and spinning through tackle. Good head coaches do. Third and goal, a bunch set. This is Dusan right up the middle using that side. Halfway through the third quarter, and they're fighting for a playoff spot, and they're in a barn burner against Chicago. That's a great point. Chicago's not playing for anything. They've been eliminated from postseason Chicago players meeting at the ball. Second and 10, ball remains at the 15. A release play caught in the flat by Taylor. 22, a deep shotgun drop by Richardson. Here comes the pressure, a release to Houston. Said Our defense revolves around our strong safety. Third and eight. That's Carter in motion, a setup wheel water, fourth and four. Richardson back to pass, buying time, pocket collapsing. The momentum in this arena has absolutely changed. One minute remains here in the third quarter. Chicago trailing it by two, that's caught. In the playoffs. Second and goal from the four. Receivers all to the right side. Usually that's setting up the quarterback sweep. But this time, Dusan cuts it inside. A cold quarterback off the bench, and a poor snap at the feet of Baker. Drive down the field and possibly put a nail in the coffin for Chicago. She needs to. Right there, she's showing you she's going to air it out. And that's intercepted. Chicago. First and 10 as this offense takes over again. Max blocking up front for Dusan down the field, and that's nearly caught. Down with. So that'll set up a second and 10. Ball remains at the 20, another 10 from the 20. This is Dusan back to pass into the flat court. As Chaz Dusan gets settled in, another poor snap back to Dusan, a dribbler. Just dumps it off to Tom. 16. Another dribbler back to Dusan. She's going to throw it down the length of the field into the end zone, into coverage. Oriana Taylor with the interception and the run back. Still on her feet. She better tuck that ball. A third and seven. An ideal opportunity for this Chicago defense to come in with a stop. Here comes the blitz and caught. Maya, even the safeties are up for Chicago. Inside handoff, wide open up the middle. Netta Carter. Back to LFL football night. While we were away, things got interesting inside that Chicago Bliss locker room. They say if I lost my motherfucking man, and I said I was down the fucking ball on third down with four fucking minutes to go, what sense would that make football-wise? Not none. Times. I said, Q, 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 you looked me in my eyes and said, yeah, no. oh, so what if that was a miscommunication? You're not going to put that on me. Because we had a miscommunication. Tell us to stop accounting me. 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 You're not going to blame this on me. Because we all got three messages. Tell us to stop accounting me. It's your fucking problem. It's your fucking problem. It's your fucking problem. But if that's the case, if I got all that, would you not get back?
A lot of disarray in that Chicago locker room. I've never seen anybody throw a chair like that. Not even Bobby Knight. Wow. Not the way you would want to end your season if you're the Chicago Bliss. Some serious concern with that franchise for the Nashville Knights. They get to live another day and are still in the playoff hunt.